we are in the tropical paradise mm -hmm. that is the Fox 43 mm -hmm. kitchen this morning. Mm. Uh, this is just, I mean, check this out. We got the mini plates here, but check out Ooh, that dish. So Look there. at that hunking <laughs> piece of meat for that pork chop. It's delicious. Uh, meat there. Uh, it is. <laughs> And Hawaiian. the pork chop looks good too there, Dad. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hawaiian inspired. We got the flavors that you cannot believe. Everything looks absolutely phenomenal. Chef, I'm gonna eat. You you Please. walk us through. Yanni, that's you. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So I mean, hey, summer, maybe it's coming to a close, but maybe not. Maybe you go to the Olivia's Kitchen, you let them take you back mm. to that summer. You feel like you're on a tropical island because we got that delicious pineapple glaze sauce going with the smoked pork chop from local butchers, which I know Sean loves. Mm -hmm. We char grilled it, we char grilled some pineapple. There's limes in there, there's so much fresh vegetables. It's healthy, it's delicious, and when that happens, you know you're in for a good time. I mean, what else is there to say? The flavors go together so amazing. The, the different textures of everything. Guys, this is phenomenal. I Hit it out of the park. We're like a little bit. We joke a little bit because I tell you how much I love these pork chops, the, the smoked pork chops. But the sauce, like you said, it just really enhances it. The sweetness, yep. but then the, the saltiness. I love it. Hooks it up. Takes That's it to another best. level. It enhances things. Yeah, definitely not trying to hide it. Just trying to enhance it a little bit. Give it mm -hmm. out, you know. And the local produce, remember, the farm, get into those little shacks that you see in farm markets. Check out your local butcher. They got great products back there smoking away. Now, how long did you have to let that oh sauce? Gosh. That sauce, you that do that quick. really quick. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. When our first segment was over, up. yeah, that's right. Three more minutes. I thickened it with a uh, three tablespoon of uh, cornstarch, three tablespoon of water. It's called a slurry. Yeah. I thickened that up. It got a little bit thicker. Let it sit for about ten minutes. You're good to go. That was quick and easy. It's wasn't the not? slurry. I forgot about that. Yep. That's what mm -hmm. kind of helps. Yes, sir. It really yes, sir. Good. Yep. Yeah. It thickens up for you. I was laughing though because Andrea, when we were in there, she was <laughs> watching you guys make it and she was <laughs> talking was, to yeah. herself, <laughs> saying how good dreaming. it was. I was dreaming. She dreaming in this moment. She cooks. She knows. And this will be on the menu. It will be on a menu starting this weekend. Y'all gonna be preparing these. Also, Fox 43 has a recipe. If you forget anything, what they were just saying, you can check out the recipe. Get us on our iPad next to you in your kitchen. Let us help walk you, you go, through perfect. a great recipe. That is a great idea. Definitely take the iPad into the kitchen. You walk them through it. You yeah. explain the science behind <laughs> it, too. It's really fun. Bring the whole family. As always, we want to thank you guys mm. for this delicious meal. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we got to mm -hmm. say, this gives us a double bit of... Mm. Mm.